In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph a polynomial function based on the end behavior, the leading term test, and zeros and their multiplicity. What we have on the screen are the four possible ways a polynomial can end up. What you have to concentrate on are where the arrowheads are, not what's going on in between them. We actually have all four cases arranged on purpose in a specific row and column. Let's talk about the top row. The first one would be the graph of y equals a times, where a is just a real number, x to an even power. Anytime where you're graphing an x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, the arrowheads are going to end up in the same position going up. It's going to open up. Again, here we're assuming that a is a positive number. Also over here on this side in the same row, we're assuming a is a positive number. And this would be the graph of y equals a times x to an odd power. So an x to the third, x to the fifth, x to the seventh, so on and so forth. It basically has the shape of a cubic. All that changes would be the inside. On the other part of it, the bottom row represents if your a's were negative. But since this still has a parabolic shape, this would still be a times x to an even. But with the a being negative now, we have a reflection going on. Here, this is a reflection, in this case of a cubic. So a is negative, y equals a times x to an odd power. So as far as n behavior and comes into play, this is where the leading term test comes into play as well. By looking at the leading term ax to the n, if a is positive, means there won't be any reflection, so you'll be in the first row. If a is negative, you're in the second row. Now as far as the degree of the polynomial, that tells you what column you're in. If it's second, fourth, sixth, even, you're in the first column. If it's three, five, seven, odd, you're in the second column. Because of this, let's actually go through a full, uh, actually a couple examples, demonstrating graphing it based on zeros, multiplicity, all that good stuff that I already said that you could rewind if you actually wanted to hear it again. 